And that is what we'll be talking about here today. We're joined by Honorable Odefa Abasi. Odefa, a member of the Ebony State House of Assembly. Thank you for coming on this morning. Thank you so much. Let, let's start off with this one. I mean, the position of the Deputy Speaker. Who is the Deputy Speaker? There is no Deputy Speaker. As there is now. no Deputy Speaker. There is no Deputy Speaker in the Ebony State House of Assembly. How come? Because the person that occupied the position, Honorable Blaze Zorji, his seat has been declared vacant by the Speaker of the State House of Assembly in line with Section 109, Subsection 1G and 2. The powers conferred on the Speaker of any House of Assembly. The thing is, if you are elected under a particular party and before your tenure expires and you defect to another political party, the real constitutional provision is that you should resign your position before going over to another political party. That's the position of the law. I thought they said the matter was being heard at the Federal High Court of Pakiliki while uh, the Speaker went ahead and did what he did. Well, if they are in court, that's the right place they should go. That's where they should go and seek the redress anyway. But the court has not restrained and couldn't have restrained the Speaker or the House of Assembly from doing its constitutional responsibilities. So he's wanting to go to court. We wait until the court gives his verdict. If the court says, that the speaker is wrong, or that he should return back to see, or he should return back to his seat as a member of the House, they remain so. But for now, Honorable Blaze Ezoji is not a member of the State House of Assembly. So it was removed while the court proceedings were going on? While the court proceedings was going on? Well, he was removed. The speaker exercised functions and his powers as speaker of the State House of Assembly in declaring seat vacant. What is going on with this impeachment matter? Well, what is going on with the impeachment matter is the attempt the House of Assembly efforts to stop recklessness in the executive arm of government, to stop a governor who has become more or less an emperor, to stop monumental fraud in our states. That is what is going on. We can't accept a situation whereby fraud is committed every day. In the local government system, it is fraud everywhere. In the state, it is fraud. You say every day? Everywhere, and almost on daily occurrence. Since when? For a very long time now. How long? Well, the records we show. I don't have all the records of every fraud that is committed, but at least we do have some. For instance, our governor formed a company, incorporated a company, which is called a Boeing Cement, with money of taxpayers, spent several millions into it. And at the end, the shares is 200, um, 250%, 250 million shares. And you gave your brother-in-law uh, one uh, done. He's called the uh, architect Nkwego. He is uh, the government candidate of the Labour Party, who happens to be the brother of the brother-in-laws. And you gave him 175 million shares. And gave another one called Linus Wamba 25 million shares. And you now gave a Boeing state government 50 million shares. You have this all on record. Of course. That, that of course. was what happened. Yes. Of course. And of course, uh, we have it even from the uh, Corporate Affairs Commission. They are out there. And then again, you now formed another... That is why uh, the, the Calagou Cement is not working. Then you now formed another company called Airborne Oil and Gas. That one, you, the shares there is 200 million. Again, you gave the same architect, Edward Nkwego, another 100 million shares. When did all this happen? This, uh, the, the, this happened between 2013 and 2013 now. 2000 or what? 13. 13. So now, I now you gave your son 25 million shares. Your first son, Elichi Nana Elichi, who is also contesting for the position of a Senate in the Labour Party. How then do you want us to applaud this and keep quiet about this? And then, not only that, we are aware of uh, uh, what they call International Trade Centre. That was started um, sometime in the last regime. And then within 2007 and 2008, you paid 500 million naira, and no single job was done there in the course of our oversight functions. Rather, the money was taken to go to Abuja to go and buy a land where they built a very magnificent hotel. And you still came back again to give him another job in what we call the international, uh, um, the international market. All right, uh, just before you go on, this document, the dates I see here are reading 2009. Am I missing no, 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 something? No, no, no. This is, this is corporate. Let me show you. Look at it. This is Ebony Cement Limited. This is incorporated by the state government. This present government. It couldn't have been 2009. All right. Yes. What well, year? Yeah. Let me see. 
Look at it very well. Uh, you show me. Of course, I can see here. I'm trying to see. It's not very clear here. It's incorporated by this government. The last government did not incorporate any company at all. To the best of my knowledge, it did not. It did not. No, it's not clear. It did not. Now what, what date is this? No, this is 2010. Is this 2010? This is 2009, sorry, yes. That's by this government. This government came to be in 2007. You're very correct. And incorporated the company and gave shares to these people. I thought you said it was... 2013. Well, one, I think that's the oil and gas. The oil and gas was incorporated in 2013, between that period. Because there's a sexual in ever in a boy, in either. They found oil. It is presumed that oil is there. And so the governor decided to form a company with the sun, a way by they can drill oil and make money. And then the best thing to do is to give, the important thing there is, if the state government is forming a company, why do you now give shares, 50 million shares, to the states? And then you give an individual 175 million shares. And yet it's funded by the company. And by the condition under section 197198, any public company, any company, any firm, any organization belonging to the state, which you put taxpayers' money on, you must have the clearance of the House of Assembly. You just have to. And then again, you took loans without the House knowing. You took six billion naira from First Bank in 2013 and paid it up. Uh, I think that was uh, early this year it was paid up. I, uh, last year rather. And you now took, last August, you took another 3 billion error from UBA.